Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple, quick background layout. First, like, there's a lot of things you can do to a background to make it look really cool. Like, you can add some text, some colors, some graphics. What I'm going to do is just a simple uh, box outline. First, I'm going to change the color of the background to the same as the front, same as the box. So I'm making both the same color. Then you wanna go to the boxes right here. You go there. Then you wanna go to stroke. Now what that will do is it will make an outline. Let's make it. Uh, I like blue, like my old background, just kind of light blue. Yeah, that looks okay. You wanna make it one centimeter, one pixel, sir. And you wanna make it inside. You don't want it on the outside. You can choose your opacity, I'll keep it full. Now, here you have a simple outline. You can't see that much, but at the end you'll be able to, at the end you'll be able to see it. Now let's add a flare. What I used to do is I don't really go and use a flare, I make a custom flare. Let's do that, you make a new layer by calling control, shift and N. Then you just click OK or enter. I'll just use this. You want to do it is you want to make it kind of small. You can make it big if you want, but I'll make it small so you can make it stretch. About eight pixels. Right? Place that down. And then you hit control T. That's like the shortcut for editing it. Then you just stretch it up. And you see you got a cool little flare effect. And what you do is you just put it around the screen. Just like that. Just hold shift, drag it down. Shift makes it go straight. But also, what you can do is you can mess about with settings like inner glow, outer glow. Let's see what we can have here. Outer glow. Makes it look a, a tiny bit better, but not that much. It's not that noticeable. No, actually. It, Makes a big effect. I was looking at this one. Let me just copy this. Copy layer style, paste layer style. This is just an easier way to do things. Let's turn down opacity a bit, it's a little too bright. Okay. What you can do is you can just do it another two times on the sides. Now let's bring in some 3D text. Who's gonna be the lucky person to get the name in the video? Let's see, pictures, art. Oh, wait, not art. I uh, customize the car. Do stuff like that. Who's gonna be the lucky person? Oh come on! We're in the wrong place again. It's Cinema 4D. All right, look there. Go down. Pictures. Now, see. I'm not, I'm not looking. Oh, wait, that's nothing. Let me try again. Okay, game title. That's a logo. Try again. There we go. Solo killer. Let's just take that, drag it, put it, and put it in. Now hold control, click control T to edit it, and then hold shift, and turn it by the corner, just like that. Then make it smaller, resize it. Whatever you want. That's okay. Now let's just put it on the other side, flip that around, add it to here. Also, what I like doing sometimes is something like this. Stretch it a bit and then turning down the opacity. And it looks like it's rumbling, it's moving. It's a tiny bit, not that much. Uh, what else can you do? You can, uh, you can add some graphics. Let's see. Got a lot. Prefix, stock image, A flares. Here they are. You can just. Let's just add this. You make it editable. Click on the background. Just type in whatever. Then go to the blending options and make it screen. And then just drag it into here. And then there you go. It's just that part. Now let's turn it around, 
let's rub out some parts. That's okay. So yeah. Delete that a bit. Delete some of this. And that's a simple background. It's just an outline and some text. Eventually, after a lot of practice, you'll make something like this. This was made by me, yes. It's nice. It's for uh, my cinema director, or well, soon to be. Oh well, alright. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.